tired. How do you feel? I feel so good. I'm so glad I did. Well, the other way wasn't working. No, no, it no. wouldn't. It wouldn't have ended well. And of course, you don't want to miss Brandy's wedding. No. And wait till you see the bike I have. We're going cruising. We may be gone for days, T. Oh my gosh. Me and Patsy, my biker bitch. I can't He's believe right. it. Peace, we're going. Okay. We're going. We're going. <laughs> we're going. You guys, come here. Come see Pat. Be quiet. Drumsticks. Do you want to show Patsy how you drum? Okay, wait there. I'll get you drumsticks. Oh my God, Tori, you're so grown. So good to see you. I missed you. We missed you. I miss you all. One, two, three, four. Preschool sucks. You want to press it? There you go. Again, okay. Thank you, Liverpool. where all the magic happens. Neil Lane is where I get rings for tea. So what better? Let's take Randy to go and see Neil to get her wedding band. It fits more perfect. How much is that, Neil? It's $950,000. So you could just live. And yeah. Let's try this one on. How's that look? Mm -hmm. I love this one. It's so pretty. Let's do it. All right. Let's do your ring. <gasps> Beautiful. That's gorgeous. I'm go so excited. It was really important to Brandy that she get her teeth fixed because she wants to look and deal her best on her wedding day. So I'm taking her to meet with my really good friend, Dr. Kevin Sands. Look at your beautiful teeth. Aw, they're so little. Oh. oh, God. You have four little pinches of away from looking the best you've ever looked. Just watching someone get their teeth done is just a really bizarre experience. <laughs> I've never seen anyone have it done in person. Things seem kind of foreign and creepy to me. Isn't it? It's like a horror film. Hi. Hey, Tori. Hey. Who are you with? I'm with Brandy. She's getting her teeth done. Um, I've got some kind of intense news. Hold on. Okay, can I go in your office? Obviously. Sure. Hi, what's going on? I don't know how to say this. It's going to be raining on the wedding. What? Like 70% chance. Oh my god. Can we tent the whole thing? We can't afford to tent the whole thing. We could do it inside. No, she doesn't want to get married inside. Can you call right now and just start getting options and price quotes on the tent? Okay, I will. Okay, I'll call you back after we're done. All right, bye. 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 This is the worst thing ever. I feel completely responsible. I told her we didn't need a backup plan. And now they're saying 70% chance rain. I feel like this is going to break her heart. Oh my god. Are you ready to see? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here's your old smile here. Uh, Are you ready for the new you? Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love them. I, I love them. That's it, you're a knockout. They are really good. With Brandy's new smile, she looks so amazingly beautiful and flawless. And the most important thing is I can see how beautiful she feels. She feels so good about herself. And now I have to tell my friend that it's gonna rain on her wedding day. Um, I just talked to you about something. What? Have you been checking the weather report by chance? Yes. Okay. It's 70% chance. 70 now? It's up to 70. It was 30. As of today, it's 70%, starting in the morning. We'll get through it. Don't get upset. I... What would you think of tenting the whole thing? With beautiful swag, chandelier. How do you feel about that? I feel great about that. <laughs> I just, just want to be able to do that walk. I know, and I wanted to give you that. Maybe it'll stop right before. It might. And if it does rain, it rained on my wedding day, and it's supposed to be renewal and rebirth, and it's supposed to be really special. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I'm Sorry. so bad because I promised you it wouldn't rain. OK. Thank you. It's going to look gorgeous. This is really cool. This is what we got to print on all the little bags for the candy. Oh, this great. is also what their dance floor is going to look like. 
What about flowers? Are you good? The good flowers are a go. I mean, yeah, we have to see it when we get down there, but they're all ordered. The thing I'm most stressed at is the timeline. So maybe we should schedule our day tomorrow. Or you've already done that. Okay. No, the day's not scheduled. See so yeah. about the draping in the room. Start putting the tables together. You know we had to order the tent because it's gonna rain. Yeah. That's the most stressful thing. That was like one of those last minute things that's like, what? Are you stressed out? Of course I'm stressed out. Well, we'll come and help you. Well, thank God and you're James coming because be seriously, with Dean's broken shoulder, it's not like he's gonna be much help. It's also exhausting when you're working on a huge project like this and at the same time, you're also working on another huge project, which is your relationship. Did you talk to him about the race and the crash and everything? I wanna hear what happened. I don't wanna talk about it. I want to hear it. This is really important, actually. Okay, I want all, to hear you, how all, you, you, all it. you need to know about it is that everything that you always told me, like you need to tell him how you feel, you need to tell him how you feel, I told him how I felt. You should always speak your mind. Just because we had, you know, two conversations about it doesn't mean he's gonna... Change. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it tomorrow. But what if it backfires and then he, like, like totally shuts down? Well, I'm gonna be very diplomatic, and, and um, he and I should really talk anyway. We have our own relationship now. We really communicate, and I like that. I'm guarded. I don't trust that it's going to change. <laughs> you have to believe that it's going to change. This is your husband. This is the person you're in love with. It's the day before the wedding. We just got here, and the clock is ticking. I had to go into full-on wedding planner mode, but things are already in progress. The tent is up, the furniture's going in, the drapes are up, so we just gotta keep this ball rolling, 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 and pray for no rain. This looks amazing, amazing with the black down. Ah, oh, it's gonna look gorgeous. Concepts, event, design. They're great, man. I know you guys had kind of a little blowout. This is for me, this is not coming from her. She hasn't really spoken to me about it, but I can see the tension a little bit. I'm sorry I'm always talking about this stuff, but the fact that you she's shut off insight. with me a little bit scares me because if she's not talking to me about it, then she's really given up almost. She thinks that I'm not present and I'm obsessed with my motorcycle racing because I need a distraction from the real issues. For Tori, after work, the next thing is family. You choose to do your personal interests a lot more than she does. You're losing opportunities to spend like quality time with your family and your kids. And you just really focus too much on that. She wants you guys to get back to that place where it was just you and her and really getting each other. And I think right now, there's just, I feel it. I walk in the room, I feel tension. I feel like you guys are just kind of, you know, playing your roles. But do you see where I'm going with this? I, it's I your totally, prioritiz totally, Her prioritization totally. is completely different than yours. I know that we are a million miles away from each other and we're just cohabitating together. Yeah, and you're playing the role of husband and wife without the connection. I see what I'm doing wrong when I'm doing it, but I can't stop it. I know I'm not balancing this right. I do get myopic and I am a little motorcycle heavy right yeah. now, but I don't think I'm neglecting my family or not present for my family, and she seems to think I am, and she seems to think I'm angry, and I don't She's know. at one extreme where she's kind of, all she cares about is her family, and you're at the other extreme where you care about your family, but you're, you're too focused on your personal interest in a way that's almost like the way you're saying it's myopic and like overwhelming. I don't know. I'm just getting tired. I'm just getting tired of doing the same old thing over and over again. I'm just tired. You gotta break your pattern. You'll do it. I have all the faith in you. Your love is so deep and you could see that. Okay, so this is the walk. This is the walk. This is my first time running a wedding rehearsal, and I'm unbelievably nervous. I have like stage fright. I have wedding rehearsal fright. You guys, can I have your attention for one more second? When you come down, bridesmaid, groomsmen, you'll meet each other right there in the center. The next group will then start to come down and take their place. Go to the front. Take your rings to the front. Go to the Okay. Hey. Don't The music will begin. Everyone will stand up. Introduce you guys as Mr. and Mrs. The dance floor is now being installed, so I have to go check on that and just make sure everything is going according to plan. Oh, the dance floor is prepped. Are you, who are the guys from Platinum Pro? Hey. We've decided to have a black dance floor and we're gonna have Brandy and Dwayne's monogram in the center in white. And I think it's gonna be uber chic. The dance floor looks great. It's very shiny, isn't it? Matt, Matt, 
The day of the wedding is finally upon us and there are so many details still left to do. I mean, we have to go to the ceremony site. We have to make sure the flowers are right, the centerpieces are right. We have to fill the candy jars.